let's go ahead and learn about left joins. Left joins allows us to combine two tables like inner joins, so table A and table B. And the difference here is that a left join includes all the rows from the left table, i.e. table A, as well as the records from table B that have a corresponding relationship and also the ones that don't have a corresponding relationship, i.e. it returns all the records even if there isn't a match. And then you get result C. Let me go ahead and show you exactly how this works. So if I go ahead and pretty much select star from person and then join, so let's go ahead and first join car on person.carid equals to car.id. If I press enter, and in fact, just let me go in ahead and make this smaller so you can see everything in one line. So just like that. And then if I run the same thing, so just let me clear the screen and then run that. So now you can see that we only have two people, right? Two people. And that's because if I select start from person, you see that Adriana, she doesn't have a car. So a join simply takes this condition right here and finds every single row where the ID is equal to the actual foreign key and anything else is discarded. But now let's say that we also want to include people that don't have a car, i.e. we want to have this exact same query, including Adriana. And this is where left join comes into play. So if I go ahead and select and then star from person, and then I'm going to say left and then join. And basically now everything is the same. So we want to left join to car and then on and then car dot ID equals to person dot and then car underscore ID. If I press semicolon and now press enter and this includes everyone that has a car. So you can see Omar and Fernanda, they both have a car and you can see that ID make and model and also price are filled with values for both Omar and Fernanda. So you can see right here. So value one, and then value two. But because we performed a left join, meaning that we also wanted people without a car, you can see that these values for Adriana are null. And this is what a left join is. It basically means that you want to join both tables, including records which don't have a foreign key relationship. So now, with this, we can actually find out people that don't have a car, right? We could technically write something like this. So select and then start from and then person. And then you could say where ID is null. Oh, actually not ID, sorry, car ID, sorry. And you can see that we have Adriana. But also with a but also with a left join, so if I clear the screen, you could also do the same as this. So you could say select star from person, left join, and then you can say where, and then car dot and then star. So star means every single column, and then is no. So if I go ahead and press enter, you can see that now we include the actual join of both tables, but only persons that don't have a car. In our case, only Adriana doesn't have a car. So let me go ahead and select the initial join. So just like that, so you can see what we're doing. And there we go. So this is giving us everyone, including those who don't have a relationship constraint. And also let's go ahead and perform the actual join so you can see the difference. So enter, so you can see the join only gives us the ones which have a foreign key constraint 
in both tables. The left join gives us those who have a foreign key and also those who don't. And basically this very first query is simply finding out those who don't have a foreign key constraint. So this is it for left joins. It's very powerful. In this example, we simply have two tables, but you could expect to perform joins on, you know, multiple tables. And this is how you perform left join. So if you have any questions on using joins and left joins, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video. See ya.